Hello everyone, <laughs> good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. I know I look a little crazy and I hope I didn't scare you because I have a face mask on. Ugh. And um, I forgot to mention in my last makeup video if I should call you guys, it's really loud, sorry. For like an outro, I should say like, oh, buy my little buttercups or buy my little devils because you know, this. So let me know. I think it's really cute so it'll make it the video more fun but in today's video it's a little skincare video I got in the little mood for it so I washed my face with the Cetaphil cleanser or Cetaphil like they say in the commercials but I don't want to say it like that because I'm weird but I've been using this for a year and I'm pretty sure it's like up to here still and it's a pretty big bottle. And I think it's $13 at Walgreens or Target. I think it's worth it. I know it's not like the little, like the low price ones, but it definitely gets the job done. I get the daily facial cleanser. Not like, I know there's another one, but I forgot what it's called. I think it's for sensitive skin. But I just think this one's much more better and it cleans my face much more than the other one. This is my favorite cleanser. I use this. Hold on, my mom screamed. Okay, well I asked if she was okay twice. She didn't hear me. I think she's okay. <laughs> but also in the shower, I use the St. Ives, what is it called? Soft Skin Avocado and Honey Scrub. I know, I know that the little beads, is there beads in it? Well, I know there's little stuff in it that's really bad for the earth or whatever, or at least I heard that, but uh, I use this. And there's another one for brighter skin. I think that's tangerine, lemon, not lemon. It's something like that. I'll probably put it on the screen, but I use that too. I really like this brand. For like face exfoliators it's real good and they say to exfoliate your face at least three to four times a week so that's what i do and obviously i don't get like the deep deep like there's a thing on the back of how strong your exfoliator is you can't see it can you see it focus and i get just the middle one or the gentle one because I don't want it to be too harsh on my skin because I feel like my skin is just a little bit sensitive not too much but I don't want to go over the top and so after I wash my face and shower and stuff I pat my face dry with my towel I don't rub rubbing is not good for your face I <laughs> fun little fact I learned that from Justin Bieber's proactive commercial years ago and if I can find it I'll probably insert it in the video I was just like oh thanks Justin for that skincare hack you know I didn't even put a timer for my face mask I keep changing subjects sorry but 20 minutes down okay and then the first thing I do is after I get out the shower put my face dry I use the Thayer's I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this one, and it's in the scent coconut water. It smells exactly. Oh, it smells so good. But I know like scented things aren't really good for your face, but my skin doesn't really mind it. Like it doesn't react to it that badly. But it's the witch hazel toner, and I just put a little bit on my cotton ball and just you know this all over my face, <laughs> and um, it gets dirt away you know it just cleans whatever didn't come off in the shower it's real nice, real nice my face likes it and it's especially good if you have oily skin I have oily skin so it takes everything away and then the next step I do what's next I use my favorite Mario oh you can't see it Mario Badescu um i have 
the aloe cucumber and green tea i use this in the morning because they said it's really good for the morning time like a, it's just a little refresher thing for your face and it's gentle you know when you wake up your face might be a little weird from sleeping i don't know but i sprayed this and it smells really good and it my face really likes it so and then when i wash my face in the afternoon i use their basic aloe herbs and rose water one i know a lot of people have heard of this one so i use this one but i think my favorite one is this oh it's the aloe chamomile and lavender one this is for nighttime so your face can you know just take in all the nice chamomile scents and relax after whatever day you've had just you know this one this one i know i've tried they have another one i think it's orange blossom something that one smells really good too but i ran out but you know i have enough so so next is my eye cream and i use the bliss explosion radiance boosting eye cream with vitamin c and you can get this at target and it just helps with like dark circles i think it works my sleep schedule has been a little off so i can't really tell because you know you know you know you know um but yeah i like this i have a lot still and i think i bought it in march and i really like how the bottle looks i think it's cute so, yeah and from moisturizer i just use basic aloe vera gel just this from target because i don't really like i like moisturizers but i feel like they get my skin really oily really fast and it's hard to pick what moisturizer your face likes and i don't know this one's just really mild for my skin mild like it's salsa uh but yeah i really like it and you know if you've been in the sun all day it'll definitely feel good on your skin i don't know why i'm talking like this um and for pimples because we all have them i use the mario badescu pimple what's it called what's it called drying lotion do not shake this because you can see that there's can you see there's like the water part and then the little drying solution. It's really loud. I look really crazy in this video. I'm sorry. But you just take a little cotton swab and you dip it in the pink stuff and just pop it on your pimples. I think you've seen me with it in a video once. My like lazy weekend video. I don't know. But it really gets your pimples away after one night. Like if you feel a pimple coming, you see it, it's like starting to form, you put this shit on there, it's gone. <laughs> so that's my little family back there full of skincare. But I'm not done yet, because I haven't even talked about face masks. But the most important thing in skincare is water, baby. You gotta drink water, at least eight cups a day, you know? And it makes you feel good so drink, drink water kiddos <laughs> okay uh, so after all that good stuff you know taking care of your skin i use the saint or one of the face masks i have like three different ones and like some target ones but i don't really use the target ones unless i don't know i don't know i use this one St. Ives Firming. It's a mineral clay mask. It's what I have on my face now. And you keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes. And it's supposed to deeply cleanse and firm skin. And I don't know, I really like St. Ives. Like my face likes it, but I don't think it likes like their oatmeal exfoliator. You know, that that makes my face break out but i like this it makes me feel real clean afterwards you know squeaky clean here's another oh the table's wet here's another face mask that is by bliss i i use a lot of the same products but this is from target and it's the mint chip mania and it smells 
exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream exactly it's a cooling and soothing ice cream <laughs> ice cream textured mask and um you're supposed to leave this why do i have an accent there you are supposed to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes also this is what it looks like you open a little flap oh my god that's what it looks like on the inside can you focus please focus 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 that's what it looks like these little i think they're like cocoa butter that's it yeah oh no shea butter chocolate chips yes you massage those into your skin and it just makes you feel minty i usually do this mask after i work out and shower just so like my skin can cool down a little bit and i don't know it just feels better after you work out i don't know now this one is a little bit more what do you call it like it takes more action on your skin does that even make sense it's the ordinary peeling solution and it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial this hat it's like acidic so you have to be careful with it and i have sensitive skin i think so i'm surprised my face really likes it and they're really good reviews and it's only seven dollars for like this much like i think it's such a good deal and when you put it on it kind of looks like you're putting like blood on your face like you know an american horror story when what's her name the third one where she puts blood on her face that's what it looks like and it just makes your skin look like glass and beautiful and just you know i don't know it really cleared up my skin like my skin just looks more moisturized and just beautiful and i just oh i love this so much i look like a serial killer okay but the last thing i do if i'm really feeling like my skin needs a little a little moisture you know a little pick me up after a long day or my skin's looking a little flaky and dry because of all the pimples and stuff you know it's a little tmi but i use the clinique moisture surge overnight mask can you see yeah it's a little baby one but i don't use it every day i probably use it like once a week and sorry i got a text um but yeah it's I'm gonna show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And I don't know how to put it back in. But it really makes your skin feel nice. And you wake up and your skin just feels like it drank the whole ocean. I don't know. <laughs> and always, don't just take care of your face. You always have to put lotion on your neck and chest too. Just don't, don't abandon this. <laughs> or your lips. So I know in my last video, like my makeup video, I talked about lip balms and stuff. I really recommend the set of set of film, what? the Aquaphor one. And Soft Lips is really good too. I don't use Carmex because I feel like it doesn't get the job done. But I also use I've been using the Vaseline one, this little baby one. And I just put it on whenever my lips are feeling dry, you know, before bed after you brush your teeth you know you know stuff like that and you know if i'm feeling like a little kid or i want my lips to smell good you know i use <laughs> that was weird i'm sorry i use the lip smackers watermelon if you'll focus but you know what it looks like oh it just smells like childhood but that's it that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed my weirdness and my weird face mask face if you have any recommendations for anything or upcoming videos you know drop a comment i'm not gonna bite you so like and subscribe thanks for watching thanks for supporting me and i'll see you in the next video goodbye my little devils i don't know if that'll stick that feels weird you know or buy my little buttercups. See you in the next one. Bye.